Welcome to part 3 of the small 3D mat 3DS uh, tutorial series. This one I'm going to be talking about um, camera animation. Following in the same um, format of, uh, what was it, it's basic animation, we're going to be going into depth about how to animate cameras instead since they follow a completely um, different set of rules I guess. So in this basic animation, there I have this camera rigged up to follow this um, weird looking vehicle down this road before it turns into this building. All of which is really done in just one fluent motion, starting with a slow build up as um, you can see here, it starts off a little small, slower, then it goes down, 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 down. Then it slows down, slows down even more, so on and so forth. And up here you can see that there's some rotations that are going on. That's um, little more complex stuff that I'm not going to get into because oddly enough the rotating part is the hard part and sort of getting into that um, before I go on with the uh, camera itself you can sort of see with this uh, vehicle that goes around the corner it bounces all over the place that's because it's a little um, hard to actually get something to go on an even flow around the corner though it is possible to do it in a probably a simpler path by drawing a path that's just the way I do it. Anyway, so back to the camera. So, I'm going to delete this one for now, and i probably just delete something I shouldn't have. Oh boy. Excuse me for a moment. I, uh... Alright, this should be good. Uh, let's lower this down here, and I'm going to do Control c to create a new camera. And then I'm going to press P to go back to the perspective viewport. And... Now I gotta try and orient this thing before it gets a little too wonky, which uh, I think it already has. Nope, it's good enough. Alright, so here we got our the camera and the focal point for it. Both of which operate independently from each other, as you can see here. That's uh, good. So, Pretty much, if you have this, the camera follows it, so if you want the camera to stay in one spot while following an object, so for example that down the road, you do something like that probably. Or you can, um, I'm just going to find the camera over here because it's a little hard to grab. Uh, yeah, you can sort of see that. Anyways, camera, good enough. What? Something. Nope, never mind. Thought I was doing something wrong. Anyway, so here I got the camera selected, and only the camera. So you can see that it just goes around the uh, focal point. So if you're trying to just do a radio shot on something that's stationary, this is probably how you're going to do it. Uh, and over here, you can see the in the camera viewport exactly how that's working. I select this. No, not that. Select this and yeah, yeah, you can see it's doing pretty much what I described. Anyway, so how do you get it to go down the road since it, they both operate independently from each other? Well, if I'm going, you know what, no, I'm going to do it from scratch here. So from what I got here, I got two separate cameras independently placed. This one, if you want to follow along, you're going to have to um, set up your own little thing because I'm not giving you my project. <laughs> anyway, so let's start off by um, getting these positioned. So let's figure out the coordinates of this. So I'll set that to 500, set that to 11800. All right, now let's uh, so X, Y. Try to select the camera. Nope. Of course, the camera doesn't want to be selected. Come on, select. All right. Anyways, got the camera selected one way or another. So now let's uh, try and mimic those coordinates. So X doesn't matter. I think the um, Z was of uh, twenty-four. Most no, that's twenty four hundred twenty four. Good enough for now. Uh, 
And then this was, what was it? 11800. I have no idea what I just did. Um, so let's see the Y. So X500. So 11800. Anyway, so pretty much what I'm doing right now is just trying to line these two parts up. Whatever, they don't have to be perfectly aligned for this demonstration since, well, you get the idea. So, assuming you've taken photography, you'll have an understanding of how cameras work, so I'm not going to be going all fancy, fancy into this um, stuff, but pretty much, yeah, you know how that, you, you might know how this stuff works. Anyway, so here we got them separate. So what I'm going to do is um, control click on that gizmo, or the focal point, go up to group, and group. Uh, let's name this camera rig. So now those two are stuck together and when you select one you select both and they always move together and animate together. So pretty much how I set this up to uh, go down the road I well how I did specifically I so I went back to auto key I uh, drew pretty much threw this down the road uh, probably want to bump it up a few frames first uh, let's say frame 320. That looks good. So now I'm going to drag this down the road and uh, let's have it at this point be just about level with the uh, vehicle. So I'm going to go into here so I can see the camera's movement exactly. So what I would normally do here is um, pretty much watch this, get an idea of what what worked and what didn't here it's clearly going too fast and compared to that vehicle so what I'm going to do here is um, go into this um, keyframe editor I'm gonna call it and just get this nice and visible so from here I like the uh, flow going out but it feels like it doesn't have to be so hasty and here I'm gonna want it to keep going straight in look all of a sudden that's back in view so if I drag this around so that comes into view just barely though catches up catching us up goes forward a little bit perfect that looks good now let's close that back down and go back to the auto keyframe editor and also go back to the perspective viewport so from up here I'm going to let's say drag this to 4 380 and I'm going to have this move forward again. But what I'm going to do this time, which is a little more, I guess, um, unnecessary, but slightly advanced, I guess. So we're rotating this along the Z axis. So keep that in mind. So let's here, let's change that to 0 0.001. So over the course of the animation, that's going to go that far. Now we want it to turn towards the building. So what I'm going to do here is uh, start with the no not that kind of rotation so so it's going to the negative so let's go negative 90 now for just that small duration time it's going to slowly transition over to um 90 and then let's have it uh, creep forward again towards the door um, now when I there's one more thing you guys should be aware of when um, doing keyframe animate or animating here. If you have a lot of um, keyframes in one area, you're going to have to do very fine work and do each frame very specifically or else you might um, wind up corrupting or not corrupting data but messing some something up or um, making a mess of things. So for example, if I... Uh, I actually don't know how I would do an example of it, but just be aware that if you have a lot of frames within, I'd say, five or ten frames of each other, it can get a little finicky. If it does, I'm, I'm going to trust that if you're getting to the point where it's doing that, you know how to fix it. Not saying you do, but whatever. So let's see the animation at this part now. So here it is going down the road, da 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 turns goes into the building uh, head-on collision so 
again, as we saw there, it's lo it's really finicky. So let's open the um, animation or whatever editor I called it. I'm going to set that to smooth once again. I'm going to drag that out. Set it to smooth. Set this one to smooth as well. And now if I just uh, play back here, you can see up there. Nice and smooth. Could use a little work on the uh, rotation edits. So let's, uh, if I can remember how to zoom. Right, one thing I should probably mention, if you, um, oh, there I go. Anyways, I find that a zoom thing can be a little finicky sometimes. So, yeah, let's here once again do a uh, smooth. So that's going to be a much smoother turn. A uh, bit of a jagged stop, but you know what, whatever. So, yeah, that's, um basically how you animate cameras so you can either do it on a pivot or you can have it focusing on a single object that's in one place so using the camera to move rather than the um, um, gizmo or you can fuse the two together and animate them as one which odds are if you're animating within a scene you're probably going to want to do that sort of like I did here though there might come a time where you want to quickly do a snap focus on something. Uh, let's see if I can quickly demonstrate that. Um, so let's let's open the group, and I'm going to select this bit on its own. Go to auto key, and um, yeah, auto key. So here's its current position. Uh, let's just take that a two down to a one, just so we get the frame register there. So let's have it. So at Frame 320, it just does a quick snap over here. So up to here, it'll animate fine, then it does a weird quick snap all of a sudden, and then and I'll have it come back, uh, try to come back to being up to date with everything else. Yeah, that looks good. So let's see that in the viewport. So click play catches the attention and now it's back to normal. So that's another thing about animation. If you group objects together, you can um, open the group so you can get back to actually working on the animate, the full thing. Sort of what I did with this um, vehicle, as you can see, it spins while it's moving forward as well as those wh wheels are spinning. Pretty much what I did is I had the wheels set to just spin throughout the whole thing I had this thing to rotate while the entire thing is in a single rig uh, right here and it's just moving forward here you can see the uh, spinner here you can see the wheel and axis I, and then from there I opened up into um, I don't know, one of those tires and then I just had I think only three of them to spin because those are the only ones that are visible but anyways that's um basic camera work in the next and possibly final um, part, we're going to be talking about uh, lighting. I'm going to try and keep that one basic, but no promises. Anyway, see you in the next part.